Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. Going to be doing a love reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Going to tap into the energies of love that surround you at this time. So if you're cross-watching for Gemini, please remember flip switch the energies and roles. This is a general reading for the collective, so if it does not resonate, don't force it. Check out other placements. I do have personals available if you're interested. Please connect with me through the email that is provided in the description box for the video. So I'm going to pull a few oracle, then I will clarify that with tarot. So spirit guides and angels, please show me the energy of love that surrounds Gemini at this time. Energy of love surrounding Gemini. Anything else? So something that you close cycle with is still connecting to you. There's someone that you've walked away for, from or closed cycle with. Um... There's still attachment here because the coffin is in the reverse. It says endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition, or you're still transitioning, releasing something where there was once a lot of love. It says unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. So something that you walked away from has, has brought you into the energy of self-love, finding love within self. But there's definitely something still attached to you. You are moving towards this energy of abundance at this time. So your angels and guides want you to keep a positive attitude, positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want through gratitude and bliss. So it's being present in the moment, being acceptance with the alignment of the gifts given to you from the universe. You are chosen. And when you accept and walk in the energy of, of love and gratitude... It will allow you to find inner peace, self-love, oneness, which will then bring passion and affection and attraction into your life. So um, I'm just curious why that coffin card is here in the reverse. Possibly it's indicating that's been a part of your lesson is to be present in the moment, having gratitude for the gifts given and finding the love within self. So possibly that has been validated with the coffin in the reverse. It says endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transformation. Possibly your lack of self-love, your lack of being present in the moment has kept you from moving and transforming towards a love that's deserving of you. Could be. So let's see what else I get. Show me the energy of love that's connecting to the Gemini Collective at this time. And what does Gemini need to know in regards to this energy? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So lust in the reverse. Possibly you were connected to someone on an intimate level that lacked true connection or true um, feelings and intentions, obsession in the reverse. So I do feel that you're choosing self. I do feel that for a period of time you were confused in regards to true love or you're connecting to someone that was not honoring your soul. It was just a physical connection. Now you're recognizing that you need to change something within a cycle and you are showing yourself love at this time. So it says forbidden fruit, non-committal, sexual energy, tragedy. Possibly you're recognizing that you want more than that within your connections in regards to love at this time, Gemini. Spirit guys, angels, please give me some more energy for the love that surrounds Gemini at this time. And what does Gemini need to know? So last oracle, and then I will clarify with Carol. Show me the energy of love surrounding Gemini at this time, and what do they need to know? Chaos and conflict. The number 33 may be significant. Orphan. So there's definitely, there was definitely an ending with someone. My nail. There was definitely some type of an ending that was chaotic, or there was a connection where there was a lack of continuity. There was a lack of uh, give and take. Caused a lot of unsettledness within you. This is someone that you were possibly in a physical connection with where you were wanting more. And because this person wasn't open to giving you more, it puts you in this energy of low vibration. Kept you from this energy of abundance because it kept you worried, right? You were in a connection that kept you in a state of fear and worry is what I'm getting. You felt very alone in a connection with that orphan energy is what I'm feeling, Gemini. So this is being validated here. Now, there is an energy of abundance. It's, it comes on the other side of you letting something end where there was a lack of emotional connection. And it's about putting that energy inward to yourself. Unconditional love, self-love, right? Oneness, passion, affection, attraction. In a relationship, you deserve to have all of those things. And I feel in this connection that you've walked away from, there were things that were missing. 
and that made you feel an energy of lack, right? You weren't in an energy or vibration of abundance. You were in an energy of chaos and conflict and you felt very alone in this relationship or connection is what I feel in this commitment. So I'm going to clarify this now with tarot. Guardian angels, archangel spirit guides, please protect the Gemini collective. Allow messages for the greatest good. Also, I ask my guardian angels and spirit guides to protect my energies. I channel for the Gemini collective. See the energy of love that surrounds them. What is the message for them at this time? So the first card will be the energy of the, the situation. Second card will be the challenge. The third card will be the person you're connecting to. And then the last card will be the outcome. So spirit guides, please give me clarification for this oracle spread. So we have justice, Libra energy. So it's validating that everything is balancing out. So that should give you some sense of peace. That you are in alignment with this justice type energy, the balancing of scales. There was something that you were connected to where there was a lack of justice. It, there was an energy of chaos and conflict. But I feel that you've taken the initiative to put in, uh, energy inward. And that is being validated with that justice card. And then Six of Pentacles in the reverse. And King of Cups, Nine of Wands. So I do feel that you're walking away from a commitment that caused a lot of chaos and conflict within your energy. This is someone that was not offering you authentic love. It was very imbalanced. It made you feel very lonely. Whatever it is that you are moving away from, whatever it is that you're distancing yourself from, Gemini, made you feel very alone even when you were in connection with this person. This person or this connection had you in an energy of imbalance. So it was very hard for you to manifest anything else, right? So this this needed to end in order for you to be able to move towards this abundant new energy towards this love of self. And when you're in the vibration of love of self, you're able to manifest abundance. So I'm feeling like you're releasing, you're, you're, you're no longer invested in this direction. You, you're, you're tired. Nine of wands in the reverse is like, I'm tired of fighting for this. I'm tired of fighting for someone that does not love me the way that I deserve. This is someone that is taking without giving and you're sick of it. And that is being validated with this justice card. You are starting to make decisions that are putting you in a, in a, in an abundance energy, in a self-love energy, recognizing that this needed to end is what I get. So that Nine of Wands is Sagittarius, King of Cups is Pisces, and then Six of Pentacles, that represents Taurus energy. So that is the energy that surrounds this reading, is justice. All of this is happening for your greatest good, Gemini. Show me the, end, the challenge in regards to this situation that Gemini is experiencing at this time. Spirit, please show me the challenge. Taking your heart back. The challenge was this person wasn't giving you what you wanted. I feel that you had love for this person, but this person wasn't giving back, right? This is someone that you were in an intimate relationship that was not giving you love. It was strictly physical, right? And that connection at one time may have felt satisfying, but then eventually made you feel very alone, put you in a vibration of chaos and conflict, five of swords, right? Six of pentacles in the reverse. It was someone just taking without giving, and now I feel that you recognize you must walk away from this connection in order to feel love for yourself. So it definitely is being validated. The challenge was not having the love that you deserve, right? Having a relationship or a physical connection with someone where there was no love being generated or given, right? Is what I feel. And now you're in this vibration of a balance. There's balance energy. So that Knight of Cups is Scorpio. You could be dealing with Scorpio, bottom of the deck, three of pentacles. So you're no longer giving to this situation. You have taken your heart back right? You're no longer in collaboration. Um, this is someone that's possibly seeing other people as well because the three of pentacles can represent multiple people. So this person's possibly involved with other people as well. So that further validates the fact this person isn't available to give you love. Show me the energy of the person that's connecting to Gemini. Please show me the energy of the person that is connecting to Gemini in this energy of love. Eight of Pentacles. Could be someone that you work with, someone that you've put a lot of your energy towards. Eight of Pentacles energy that represents Virgo. Could be dealing with Virgo. This is a hard worker. But look at all the, like this person's kind of the center for a lot of different people. All of these butterflies are representing things that he is, he or she is putting energy into, right? So I do feel that this person isn't giving you love because this person's very focused on a lot of different things or a lot of different people. This is someone that puts a lot of work into something. 
Six of Cups. Now, this is someone that you definitely have a tie bond with, like a bond for sure with Six of Cups energy. Scorpio, heavy Scorpio here. Um, this is someone that you, you know, were hoping to be able to have more with. This is someone that you admire because it is someone that puts in a lot of work. But this is someone that isn't giving you their heart right now. So you are being, you know, you are being aligned to take your energy and put it inward contemplating ending this because of this constant state of chaos conflict feeling so alone with that orphaned energy right this person's so busy in other connections and doing other things there's no love there and it is keeping you from an energy of abundance is what i feel your guides and angels are saying keep a positive mindset mindset manifest exactly what you want through gratitude and bliss show me what the outcome of this connection will be for Gemini. Please show me the outcome of this connection. Three of pentacles in the reverse, right? So you are walking away. That's Capricorn energy. You are breaking contract with this person. You, Like I said, you're probably going to continue to work with this person, but you're taking your heart back and you know that you need to do that in order to have some type of balance because this has not been balanced for a period of time. There's more people involved in this situation. So you're taking yourself out of the equation is what I feel at this time because it's not satisfying you. Now you're going to be putting an energy of love inward. It's about validating your heart and your feelings, right? If you're feeling chaotic and orphaned and feeling alone in love, how can you manifest anything other than disappointment and low vibrational, right? So it says endings bring new beginnings. It was necessary to close cycle with someone that wasn't giving you the love that you deserve in order for you to move towards this new abundance energy is what I feel. So I'm going to clarify this a little bit further to get some more energy. Give me some more energy on justice for the energy of this reading. Please give me more on justice. So we've got eight of swords. In the reverse, that's Gemini energy. So that is your energy. And the Fool, bottom of the deck, the Empress, Taurus energy, right? So it's about disrespect for the Divine Feminine, right? You, you weren't feeling good in this relationship because you knew you weren't being honored for the, for the beautiful light that you are, for the nurturer that you are. Your heart was not being inspired or considered or validated with that Empress in the reverse is what I feel, Right? So in regards to the overall energy and message, we've got justice, eight of swords, and the fool. So you're starting to recognize in order for you to feel free to break out of this energy of being stuck, feel get out of this energy of chaos, conflict, feeling like you're not in alignment with your purpose, the three of cups in the reverse, you're taking yourself out of this situation, you're breaking the contract, or at the very least, you're taking your energy back is what I feel. And that is being justified in the overall message for you. The fool in the reverse is talking about needing to take a leap of faith in a new direction to feel free. You have been trapped in this energy for a long time is what I feel. Feeling like you're not worthy of more, like you are worthy of more. And it needs to start from within yourself, right? It needs to be birthed inside of yourself with that energy showing up in the reverse. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Please clarify the Knight of Cups for the challenge of this message. Give me more on that Knight of Cups. Thank you. We've got Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. This is someone that is not invested in their heart. This is someone that is operating from ego. This is someone that's operated from something else, right? This person has other motivations and they're very focused on that. They're focused on stability, prosperities of some kind, right? So in regards to the challenge, we've got Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. So your challenge is taking your energy back from someone that wasn't giving you enough. Taking your energy and investment back from someone that wasn't offering you more than sexual connection is what I feel. Queen of Swords in the reverse. This is someone that lacks communication. This is someone that does not share their real true feelings. This is someone that is avoiding very much sharing more than they need to. That's why they're having these surface level connections with multiple people. That Queen of Swords is Aquarius energy, Seven of Pentacles, that's Taurus energy as well. So your person was Eight of Pentacles. Give me more energy on the Eight of Pentacles for the person that's connecting to Gemini in regards to this energy and this message. Give me more on the Eight of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles in the reverse, Taurus again. This is someone that is healing from their past. 
This is someone that does not want to be abandoned. So this is someone that puts lots of different energies out into the world. This is someone that's afraid to invest in just one person. This is someone that has abandonment issues is what I feel. So that's what I'm saying. They put a lot of energy outward. They're never going to just put energy into one thing because they're afraid. So this person lacks investment in towards you. This person is very superficial in their connections because of an abandonment from their childhood, possibly, right? The hermit in the reverse. So indicating this person needs to grow and expand in that direction. So it's just validating where they are currently in their cycle. Gemini, spirit guides, angels, clarify the outcome. Why is the three of pentacles here for the outcome? Give me more on the outcome for three for uh, Gemini in regards to this message of love. Why three of pentacles in the reverse? Five of swords in the reverse. It's about being in alignment. Being in the five of swords energy sucks. It makes you feel alone. The five of swords energy is chaos and conflict. Right? So you breaking contract with this person who is invested in other people and you're very well of that is going to clear your energy. It's going to take this energy of chaos and conflict out of the out of your vibration because you're choosing yourself, right? The five of swords in the reverse is healing something that was within you that was making you choose this person, right? So it's about expansion and growth towards an unconditional love, self-love, oneness, right? Keeping a positive mi mindset and through that manifesting what it is that you deserve, that you want. But you need to stay away from this person in order for you to change that vibration. You need to start stop having this connection with this person, right? Is what I feel. All right? Let me know if this vibrates, if this aligns with your with your story at this time. If you have not done so, please consider subscribing. Really appreciate you. Take care. Bye.